All right, welcome back, everybody, to Final Fantasy VII. We are here in Mount Nibble, and we are about to fight this boss right here. So, let's just get at it. Oh, we've all got our limits, too. I forgot I set that up. Um, let's do Greased Lightning. And then for Vincent... Oh, no, he can just... Yeah. Nice. Tons of damage. Get him. And he's gonna turn into the beast. And destroy stuff. Oh, and he's got tons more health now, too. Big horn. Oh, that doesn't do much. Okay. Nice. So Deathblow, like, has a chance to stun them. But it hasn't been working. <laughs> Even though this boss is supposed to be susceptible to it. Oh, it really doesn't do all that much. Oh, fat chocobo. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Beast Flare? Ooh. Oh no, it healed him. That's not good. Uh, we're gonna cure two, everybody. Don't Beast Flare again, Vincent. Please. Yeah, keep Berserk dancing. That's gonna heal itself. Throw. And then Grease Lightning. <coughs> Why does it keep focusing in on Yuffie? I don't get it. Yeah, he's just going straight for Yuffie every time. I mean, that's fine. She can take it, but... Yeah, got him. Oh, 3,000. Okay. 200 AP. And we got a gem ring. Oh, and what? Counter? Ooh. Counter materia? That's really good. Counter attack. Heck yeah. And then leveling it up probably just increases the, um, the chance of countering. And now we're out. Out of the mountain. To find some new enemies. I haven't gotten this far in this game in a long time. But I think we're about to pick up our last party member. If I remember correctly. Yep. Yeah, because that's the rocket town, so we're going to get our last party member then. What's that? 
It's a rocket. A sealed rocket. I wonder why they made something so huge. Okay. Well. Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. Captain? Who's the captain? The captain was a pilot when Shinru was still interested in their space program. He's going to be the world's first astronaut, but then there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here, dreaming about going into outer space. Did you see a man in a black cape? Man in a black cape? Nope. Never seen him. Okay. Oh, there we go. This has got to be like a weapon shop, right? Yep, weapons and accessories, it says. Ooh. Oh. Okay, hang on. I don't think I ever equipped... Yeah, so I got the gold armlet, and I never equipped it on her. And I should equip Vincent... The shotgun. So sniper CR and Quicksilver can both go. Peacemaker stays because that's his double weapon. And then... Butterfly Edge can go. Oops. And then... So Wind Slash and Boomerang can go. Twin Viper stays. Okay. Alright, well, that's the weapon shop. Oh, there's an inn, too. That's gonna be good. Let me sleep. Okay. Do you like something to drink? Let me hear your story. Um, okay, so I gotta they're just like talk to the captain. I'm in here. <laughs> okay. Anything anything I can open or take? No. Oh. Power source. Cool. Oh, there's another item there. Oh. Oops. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. Want me to keep watch? Um, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you'd like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shara. What are your names? I'm Cloud. 
Vincent, I am... never mind. Yuffie, I'm Yuffie. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra? I thought you were bringing approval f for the space program. Hmm? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? Uh-oh. Rufus is coming. What's this? Drill arm? Bet you that's a... Yeah, I was going to say, I'll bet you that's a Barrett weapon. Alright, so now we go talk to the captain in the... in the rocket? Hello? What are you guys doing here? I heard the captain was here. The captain? I'm the captain. Sid. The name's Sid. Everyone calls me captain, though. What do you want? Tell me about this rocket. Oh, not bad for a kid. Alright, then I'll explain it to you. You know Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the Meaningless War, right? Now it's a Mako company, but in the old days it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it, and made a prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra, knowing the world. Me, I mean, come on. And finally, we get to the day of the launch. Everything was going well. But because of that dumbass Shinra, Shara, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. And so Shinra nixed the outer space exploration plans. After they told me how the future was space exploration and got my damn hopes up. Damn them. And it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, dinero. My dream was just a financial number for them. Look at this rusted rocket. It was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first thing falling over. This thing falling over or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. Poor guy. Alright, so now we gotta go back and talk to Shara again, I think. Excuse me, Cloud. Did the captain say anything? No. Huh? Shara, what are you, blind? We got guests. Get some tea. I'm sorry. Really, don't mind us. Shut up. Sit down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea. <laughs> Ugh, damn, I'm pissed. Sure, I'll be in the backyard tuning up the tiny Bronco. Make sure to serve some tea, alright? Hmm. Sorry, it's our fault. Oh no, he's always like this. What's his problem? I'm gonna go clean that guy's clock. No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon get tired of waiting around for your ass. 
I, I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that oxygen tank. Sure, being careful is good, but no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. The thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But... No buts. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. Our dreams are finally coming true. We're so proud to be part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. Alright, Captain. Fly your fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel all clear. Shinra number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who's it? Who is it? I don't know. Activating the intercoms in the engine section. Hey, goddammit. Who the hell's still in there? It's Shara, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shara, what are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid... This is gonna get hot in here, and there ain't gonna be shit left when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp. You're gonna die, you know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Almost done? You're gonna die. Sid, we must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute. Sure is still in there. What are you gonna do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Shara, you want to make me a murderer? Captain. Shara. Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shara, hurry up. You're going to die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What, what, am, I, what am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds until ignition, internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon, outer space, my dreams. Night engine. Shh. almost fell oh that's yeah oh that's pretty crazy he pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch aborting the mission to save my life after that the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled it's my fault his dream was destroyed that's why it's alright I don't care what the captain says I'll live my life for him Sure, you still haven't served him tea. Uh, I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down. Or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? They're late. Where's Rufus? Hey, hey, long time no see. So, Sid, how you been? Sid. Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's, when's the space program going to start up again? Hey, hey, I don't know. The president's outside, so why don't you ask him? Good for nothing. Don't say fat. Hey, tea. Can I have some too with lots of sugar and honey? And Oh yeah, don't forget the lard. Ugh. Lard and tea? Hey, have we met before? Is the tea ready yet? Plenty of sugar and honey and oh yeah, don't forget the lard too. Is President Rufus here to announce that he's going to restart the space program? Probably not. What the? You got me all excited for nothing. What'd you come here for? 
I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now we think we know where he's headed. We have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco. Shinra took out her space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me too. Oh my, you seem to forget it was because of Shinra Inc. that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? Gotta go stop him. Hmm, why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know the Shinra building when the president was killed. It's security! You're not getting any security, it's just us. Mako gun? Uh, it's basically a magic gun. Okay. Mako gun. Nice. He shouldn't be too hard. Jeez. For a big guy, he's got some good evasion. Ouch. Why... Why are they focusing on... Yuffie so much? Like, every single boss that we've fought <coughs> just focuses in on Yuffie for some reason. Like, attack the others. Yeah, he's stopped. Okay. <laughs> he, like, shifts every time you hit him. That's funny. That lowers his evasion down, too, because everything's hitting him now. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I thought I was gonna get him. Oh! <laughs> Yay, he got hit by a truck. He didn't coat? No, it's going to take off. Forget it. Get in. Is that Sid in there? Come on, Sid, get on! Oh. Uh, the tail's been hit. Emergency landing. It's gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them. <laughs>
she won't fly anymore. Can we use it as a boat? Do whatever you want. Sid, what will you do now? I don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on that now. On that town. How about your wife, Shara? Wife, don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys going to do? We're going to go after a man named Sephiroth. We have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up. How about it, everyone? Whatever. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. So, where are we headed? Rufus was going after Sephiroth to the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it? The Temple of the Ancients. Don't know. That numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction, so maybe off this way? Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. Hmm. How about going west? No, no reason, no reason at all. Okay. We can cross shallow waters and rivers. We can get off on a beach. Okay. So we just move around like normal. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this one here, and we will continue on in the next one. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then.